Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for logging on to your CBS in Denver Daily Sports Line. We are brought to you, as always, by BetMGM, the king of sports books. Coming off a good week last week, we were 2-1, and one, had the Rapids cash for us on Wednesday, then took a couple days off as we're trying to squeeze in some vacation before football season. But we are back at it and ready for another big week today. Let's focus on the Rockies to start this episode, shall we? Rockies and Angels starting a three-game series. In L.A. tonight, uh, the Angels of Anaheim, wherever. It's basically in Southern California. You know the drill. Uh, Rockies, uh, underdogs in this one. You can get them on the run line at plus one and a half runs at minus 160. The over-under currently seven and a half. That's actually down. It opened at eight, and the Rockies to win is at plus 125. I want to bring in my guy Ben Carey from over at Capwise to talk more about this game. Ben, when you look at the lines, I know you guys over there at Capwise do some great, great work and have been doing it all baseball season. What, if anything, stands out to you about this game tonight? Well, first of all, there's some very interesting storylines. Uh, I think for the Rockies, first and foremost, you have guys like Trevor Story, and John Gray, who potentially could be playing some of the last games in the purple uniform. So that's really interesting. But on the other side, of course, you have Shohei Otani, uh, unreal talent. Uh, he's, he's crushing the ball. He's pitching really well. And he's very unique because he strikes out a lot of guys, but he also walks a lot of guys, but he's been successful on the season. So uh, in this one, we uh, ran the simulation models here at CapWise. And we actually have the Rockies winning this one uh, as, as a money line here. Uh, I'm showing on a few places around, you know, plus 125, plus 130. So I think there's a little value there uh, with the Rockies. But what we like the most is the over in this one, over seven and a half. Um, our model has this around like a nine run game. And I think both bullpens are going to uh, be the ones who are giving up runs. Because if you look at Marquez, he's been pitching great. And Otani, he's been pitching great as well. So I think for us, the best play is going to be the over seven and a half. I like that play a lot too, especially because it's come down. And so I really like the over seven and a half. Otani at home this season, he's three and always got an ERA of 187. Hasn't allowed more than two earned runs in any of his eight starts at home this season. And Ben, you were mentioning it. The bullpens get involved here. And then all of a sudden, all the numbers go out the window. I'm not going to rail on the Rockies bullpen because people have been giving me grief for going too hard on Carlos Estevez recently uh, after what he has done. Uh, so I'm going to lay off the Rockies bullpen, but I do like the over seven and a half as a play tonight. And I'm actually going to go with my best bet as the Angels money line first five because of what I said about Shohei Otani. I think he does a good job. That kind of gives you a, a little bit of wiggle room there because if they're tied after five innings then it's a push and counts as a, as a no bet and you get your money back but the angels first five money line at minus 155 i also don't hate the angels first five run line that's paying out at minus 105 right now on bet mgm ben when you look at the rest of the board today in major league baseball anything stand out that you like uh there's a few plays we've been eyeing uh we, we like the royals money line i think there's some value there but you know baseball has been very tough this year to handicap yeah. and i think i think a lot of it had to do with what we saw with the changes in the sticky stuff ruling and I, it really for us it, it changed a lot of the data and how we had to use that uh i'm sure you've been following there's just some crazy variance with some of the scores you know, one day you'll get like a 20 to six score the next day. It's, it's one to two, even with like better pitchers. I, I can't really explain it, but I think if you stay the course uh, with your betting principles throughout the season, you'll hopefully come up on top, but yeah, um, we're definitely ready for football though. Uh, that's my favorite sport and you know, we're about a month away. So I'm really looking forward to that. And you guys have some really cool stuff going on at Capwise right now. Obviously, the baseball dashboard kind of got a reboot and, uh, and is live now and has been for the last couple of weeks. And I know you're working hard on the uh, NFL dashboard that's going to be launched and will go into effect here in the next couple of weeks. Hard to believe it, Ben. We're going to be talking football uh, come, I don't know, just a couple of weeks from now. And, and Michael, we'll have a props uh, for NFL season. I know you love, love your props, so I'm re love really that. looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah, you guys are doing great stuff over there at CapWise. If you're not following them on Twitter, if you're not a member, not a subscriber, do that right now. You're going to earn yourself some money in the long run. Ben, this was a lot of fun. Always enjoy hanging out with you, and we'll do it again soon. Yeah, thanks again as always. We'll see you soon. Hey, that's going to do it for your CBS and Denver Daily Sports Line, brought to you as always by BetMGM. Remember, place your parlays, props, and futures at the king of sports books. Fingers crossed we get the over tonight in the Rockies and the first five Angels on the money line. Good luck.